Hi everyone, we're Travel with Johnny and Will and today we are at Liverpool Birkenhead and we're just about to get on the Stena Embla ferry back to Belfast. We flew over here on Thursday evening. I had to pick up a, a car for a work colleague. We decided to make a little trip of it because uh, Will has got a family. He's got sisters that live over here in England. So we are excited to see what Stena Embla has to offer and excited to be going back home to see our puppies this evening. We've booked Stena Plus and we've booked a deluxe cabin. So come along and see how we get on. I was just heading to the Stena Plus Lounge. Just had to check out our cabin. So we've just arrived in our cabin, which is a deluxe cabin on board Stena Ambla, and it's cool. we're really impressed. <laughs> yeah, it's really nice. Uh, I don't know what we expected, but um, yeah, it's really nice. We'll we'll show you around in more detail, but uh, yeah, here's a wee quick pan round. So we're staying in cabin nine three five. There's Johnny. And this is the entirety of the cabin. So we've got a small desk area here. There's tea and coffee. I think that's an espresso machine. Yeah, there's little pods here. And then there is a TV. There's also a door out to the outer deck. And this is at the aft of the, of the ship. Johnny's sitting in a little desk area here. We've got our own window. Very cool. So the ship's just set off now from Liverpool. And we're gonna go out shortly and show you the outside. And then we have this big double bed. Think it's class, isn't it, Johnny? Yeah. And this here is a bench seat. Oh yeah. But as well underneath it. What's this? Little seats. So like even if there was like a few of you, maybe one person wanted to pay for the bigger cabin. Yeah, you could Other definitely. Other people could like be in an inside cabin and still come here and chill. Yeah. You know. Little lights. Look at that. And we've got switches up here, two UK plugs and two USB, and little storage places. Oh, and also thermostat right there. And then over there, clearly like a little dressing area, full length mirror, and again, plug and light switches. So let's go into the bathroom. No, I'm gonna turn this on. There we go. So as you can see, very similar to a cruise ship bathroom. Shower curtain, but it looks very clean. Big shower, toilet, spare toilet roll bin. Got the hand wash. There's me. What's this? Okay, yeah, shaver socket, so 115 and 230 volt. Yeah, it looks really good. So now we're gonna head outside, Johnny. Yeah. And show you the ship sailing away from Liverpool. One thing I forgot to mention, there's a fridge and complimentary drinks. So that's pretty cool. So our cabin basically has this door here. That opens up. And this door opens up and then it leads you out to this public deck here.
the silhouette was a bit of a fail, it was really wet, so um, we got some footage and then we just came right back in at our door. Um, and now I'm gonna sit at the desk a little bit, we're gonna do some editing, do some YouTube yeah, work. I think just one thing to point out about the door that leads from the cabin out, is there, <laughs> is um, that actually it cannot be open from the other side. Yes. So whenever you go out, make sure you bring your, your key room key, because you'll have to come back in via the corridor. But I sort of like the fact that that sign is there to remind you of that, plus as well as that, it gives you the reassurance that nobody, nobody else, else is going to walk in into your cabin. So we just wanted to take a few uh, moments to uh, describe how our Stand Up Plus went this morning. Yeah, so for anybody who hasn't experienced Stand Up Plus before, um, it's definitely the way to travel, I think, whenever you come on a ferry uh, like Stella. If you don't have a cab. If you don't have a cab. <laughs> um, it is a sort of quieter lounge. It's for um, basically, I think you, you can have kids in, but kids have to be over, over like the age of eight, I think. Well, insert what age um, it is, yeah. And uh, it's sort of a, a nice lounge. There are TVs and things there. Um, but as well as that, there are all these complimentary snacks. Yeah, like complimentary like crackers, there's fruit, there's juices. And at different times of the day, the food offerings change. So there at breakfast, they had like a little granola pot. Yeah, and croissants. Um, and croissants and little uh, pan au chocolat things. Yeah. And we'll show you again then whenever it comes to sort of like the afternoon, what they have. What they have. So that was breakfast time. And then as well as that, you can get um, food ordered from the the kitchen and yeah. they will they have a menu for that. We'll put that on screen now and let you have a look. So Johnny had the bacon. And yeah, like a bacon sandwich. Yeah, I, bacon think, sandwich. I think it was called like the farmhouse sandwich or something, but it's basically bacon and tomato. And I had the maple syrup and pancakes, and both really quick service mm. and really really nice. Yeah, and we have actually travelled on the other ferry from uh, Belfast to Cairn Ryan in Scotland, and we would normally go uh, Stella Plus as well, and um, basically just because it means that you get served, you know, wherever you're sat. Um, rather than having to queue up, you know. And then, yeah, and go into a different yeah. place to um, have your food. Yeah. So yeah, really good so far. Yeah. So we just found out the TV's got lots of movies on it and apparently they are free to view. So let's click on one, Johnny, and see. Barbie. Let's see. There we go. How cool is that? So it's the afternoon now. You can see the sun has come out for us. Um, I got some work done and Johnny got some uh, little posts scheduled. I then had a nap on the bed, which is extremely comfortable. And then after that, I wanted to freshen up by having a shower. The shower, again, really nice, good water pressure and good temperature as well and not too cramped even though there's a shower curtain there so now we're heading off back to the Stena Plus to have our lunch
So folks, we are back at the cabin. We have just been out at the Stena Plus Lounge for our lunch. Um, the snacks have changed again, so um, there's some crackers and cheese, some little grapes and some little uh, bite-sized pieces of cake. Um, so we decided to order uh, some hot food. Um, Will had a chicken tikka masala uh, with rice and there was some naan bread with it as well. Um, and I had the Swedish style meatballs, which came with um, like a nice creamy sauce and some mashed potato. Um, I have to say the service was super quick, like literally within about five to 10 minutes of placing the order, the food literally was brought to the table. Um, and uh, again, the staff have been really pleasant. It's always service with a smile. And following our lunch then we had a cup of coffee and uh, I had a little bit of carrot cake. Uh, which was really nice, and um, Will, we, Will had uh, some crackers then after his uh, lunch. So after we had our coffee and that, we relaxed for a bit uh, before taking a walk up to the top deck, which is the sun deck, and we enjoyed a bit of a walk around. Um, lovely clear skies at the minute outside, um, lovely views of the Isle of Man. It's currently quarter to three in the afternoon, so uh, we've just passed the Isle of Man. So we're round about the halfway point of our um, crossing. I was gonna say our cruise, but we're not on a cruise ship, we're on a ferry. Um, so yeah, uh, only another few hours to go, but it has been a really pleasant crossing so far. And uh, for people even maybe that might be worried about, oh, how can I fill eight hours on this ferry? Um, quite easily, especially if you have the, you know, the comfort of your own cabin um, as well, uh, that you can sort of retreat back to in between going out for your meals. So what have we thought about our experience on board the Stena Embla? So in terms of the cabin, um, this is the first time I've ever stayed in one of these cabins. Mm. Um, we have stayed in cabin 935. And now this is a deluxe cabin, isn't that right, Johnny? Yeah. Um, so obviously it must have a little bit more space than the rest of them and it has the double bed um, that is together. But in terms of the cabin, uh, it's been really nice. Um, the shower has been lovely. It's been... The shower was nice, however, uh, there wasn't a lot of shower gel, shower gel. and Will used the shower gel uh, for his shower. So therefore, after I got in and got soaking wet, there was nothing to wash myself with. <laughs> I forgot to tell you. Uh, so, <laughs> Seems to be a problem with, yeah. uh, with us. So basically, I, I had a rinse <laughs> after we had a nap. Uh, I had a rinse. Um, but yeah, the shower was, you know, it was, it was the powerful, temperature was yeah. hot the, and it was powerful in terms of And the, the room's been nice and comfortable and nice spaces and the window has been lovely. Just mm -hmm. being able to look out the window and have it at your eye level. It's been really nice. Good evening ladies and gentlemen, the time is now 5.30 and our on-time arrival into the port of Belfast is 6.30. Yeah, so, well, there we go, the time is 5.30, so we're recording this just with one hour to go. Um, we're doing this now because the chances are within the next 30 minutes we're probably going to be called to the car deck. Yeah. Um, so in terms of other pluses of the cabin, uh, the USB ports, we've used those. Bed's been super comfy. I've had two naps in the bed um, whilst mm -hmm. doing some work. And this yeah, little just, seating area here was nice too. Yeah. I, I sat there earlier and did a few um, social media bits and pieces to, to type up and that. So And it's been lovely to have access right out to the back. Yeah. Um, no, it wasn't too lovely in the morning because it was raining. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it's turned out a lovely day and it's been really nice just to have the ability to open that door, let a bit of fresh air in mm -hmm. and just to stand out there and just watch the the movement of the waves in the ship. What we would say about that area is that it is a public area and mm -hmm. um, so whenever you see it on the um, on the website it does say a balcony but it's not a private balcony and um, what we would say is that outside in that area there are um, ashtrays mm -hmm. for smokers if they wish to congregate there to have a cigarette. Yeah so, so literally a meter away from that door there's yeah, an ashtray. So I think if for us that would be a, a negative because Definitely. if there were people sat out there smoking and we wanted to go out and then, or even have the door propped open if it was a nice day, mm -hmm. um, then obviously you'd have a smoke coming into the cabin, which we wouldn't want. Mm -hmm. On the plus one is if you're a smoker, uh, obviously you've literally not far to go. Yeah. Um, so that could be a bonus then to you. But for us today, there hasn't been anybody congregating no, out there. No. Um, and just speaking of negatives, other negatives are cabin seems quite warm yeah. we have pushed the thermostat to below 10 degrees 
but there doesn't seem to be any cold air coming out of this. I don't know, is it not air conditioned? It's yeah. not air conditioned on our stay anyway. No. I don't know if it if it actually isn't, but yeah, it hasn't yeah. been the coldest. It's been quite warm in this room. Yeah. And then in terms of other negatives, obviously the, the shower being missing with the stuff, but apart from that, it's been... Yeah, I think the only other thing, just to, again, it wasn't a negative for us, but it would be for some other people, would be that because you're at the very aft of the ship, um, the car deck is sort of, uh, yeah. sort of two decks below so if there's people that hasn't disabled their like immobilizers and things like that there has been a alarms. few car alarms going um, so if you're a light sleeper and you're on the overnight crossing that could be a, a negative for some people yeah, definitely. for us it still probably wouldn't matter to us no. um, Will normally would Will well would I have sleep, slept yeah. through um, yeah. Will would probably sleep through a bomb going yeah. off overall I really enjoyed this day in the cabin yeah it's been great I, and I would and definitely I, do it again oh definitely mm -hmm. and it, in terms of another plus there was a mini fridge there was complimentary drinks mm -hmm. um, water fizzy water and some Pepsis, uh, Pepsis. and then there was biscuits okay. oh, yeah. there's teas coffees and there was also two packets of crisps mm -hmm. so do you know if you didn't have Stena plus you definitely would have got by on, yeah. and then obviously you could have visited the other shops so in terms of the remainder of the ship um, that I showed you around in earlier in the video um, there's obviously the sun deck if you want to get up and get out there and just um, be in the fresh air and then there's definitely plenty for you to do um, in terms of You've got your uh, amusements, and there's a little like casino bed, like with the gambling, and then there's that soft play areas for the kids. There's also that sky bar right in the middle, beside guest services, and there's two a coffee cinemas. shop there, and there's the two cinemas, and then there's that taste restaurant below, and then in terms of where we also went uh, with the Stena Plus, this is probably every time we go on a Stena ship, we get Stena Plus. Mm -hmm. um, was it worth it this time because we had the cabin? Probably not, but in yeah. terms of just having an area where we could go and have know that we could get a seat easily, know that we could get served in terms of table service to our where we were sitting for breakfast and lunch, uh, we do feel it was worth it. And we always feel that Santa Plus is mm -hmm. worth the money. Yeah, and I think if you whenever you're buying your ticket, obviously Stena, you can add if you're buying an economy ticket, you can add Stena Plus on, yeah. and we'll put the price on screen here. Uh, but for us, we would sometimes buy we always buy the premium ticket, uh, and that includes your Stena Plus uh, entry. The reason why we buy the premium ticket as well is because um, if your plans change, and um, they are a bit more flexible in terms of changing your yeah. sailing time. So there are other cabin types available uh, on this ferry and um, there are inside ones, there are ones further down our corridor called Superior, uh, superior Cabins, cabins. Yeah. Um, so we'll just sort of show on screen now in terms of just, the, their website uh, just so that you can get an idea uh, if you come to making a booking. Um, so folks, we've really enjoyed our eight hours on board yeah. um, at the Stena Embla. Um, we definitely are thinking about coming back on board the next time of doing an overnight sailing. Yeah, um, be interesting. You know, just to sort of see what is di what what the difference is in terms of people on board, the service on board. You know, like what are they serving you to eat at night time? Yeah, you know, and like are is everywhere open all night or yeah. you know that sort of way? Yeah, uh, I would expect it maybe to be quite quiet because obviously a lot of people would be booking cabins and just yeah. sleeping. Um, but we, because obviously Will has family that lives in England, um, this is quite a good way obviously for us to come across because we can bring our car, we can do a bit of shopping, yeah. and not have to worry about what we're bringing home. I say that as if we've brought home like pieces of furniture and everything. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but you know, it just means that you don't need to worry about your baggage allowance whenever you're flying. Yeah, I totally think like, if you're thinking about doing this route and this sailing and you're thinking, oh, you know, I can just go to Liverpool or Manchester, I can do it quicker on the plane. Mm, of course this is very relaxing and obviously it does take eight hours which is the minimum because you have to be there yep. you know it takes a lot longer than eight hours actually because you have to arrive at the port and mm -hmm. stuff like that but the ship's beautiful mm -hmm. there's a lot to do on it um and if you if you've just got the time if you've got the time yeah to be leisurely, it's you know. so relaxing like it's we were both saying it's been so smooth mm -hmm. it's been so peaceful and so uh, there was the times you wouldn't even have known the ship was moving yeah so it's just been a lovely, lovely way to spend the day. Mm -hmm. 
So folks, um, thanks for watching this video. Um, we hope you've liked it. If you did, please give us a thumbs up. We hope you found it um, helpful. If you have any questions, stick them in the comments below and uh, we'll do our best to answer them. But in the meantime, um, don't forget to uh, like our channel, to subscribe to it because it's free and hit the bell icon to be alerted the next time we post a new video because we do hotel reviews, we do uh, vlogs about our cruise ships and our travels. So the cruise ship tours. Yep. Yeah, so keep an eye out to our channel, folks. We really appreciate you watching. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching. Bye.